Hey, how y'all doing? This is the engine for MIB. We're finally making progress on it. Got to the point to put the rear main seal on, which I just put in. This is the Felpro. This is like the deluxe rear main seal. It's got the PTFE. Comes with that little sleeve to help put it on. This is a base one. This is one I use on uh, on cranks that have been used, you know, like like an Explorer motor with a uh, 111,000 miles on it. I use this kind of a seal with a seal saver, and that is made by Felpro makes them. This other company makes them, but Felpro didn't even put the part number on the box. But I'll put a link up to it. Uh, one thing what I wanted to point out with these, they both go on real easy. This one is a little tougher to go on. It comes with this little uh, sleeve that you got to push on, push the seal on over it, and it kind of helps keep the lips of the seal pointed in the right direction. Once you get it on, get it kind of pushed in there, you can take this off. And then I use this thing. It's a seal installer. Um, it makes it so much easier to put these seals on because typically what I've done so many times in the past, rear main seal is leaking, you know, and I hate leaks. I hate spots in the driveway and all that. So um, go through all the trouble of taking their transmission out, all that stuff, put a new seal on, and they put it on and kind of beating it on there, you know, can you, and what happens is it gets kind of like ovaled out when you beat it on that way, and then it ends up leaking just as bad as it did before, if not worse. So this thing, how it works is you can put, you can use it to put the rear main seal on or this repair sleeve. The repair sleeve is what I use, like, like I said, on the old engines that have a lot of miles on them. They'll have a ridge or a groove cut in right here where the seal rides. And the seal won't seal up real good, so you put this on. They usually come with a little bottle of uh, like red Loctite. You clean it real good, clean the crank real good. Then you put this on. Wang it on with this thing and a dead blow hammer like this, and that sucker's on there. And then you put the sleeve in there, the, the uh, seal I mean. Do the same thing, it fits on the same way. Use the same tool. You can use it for both, which is pretty good. And it'll, you can wang it right in there. What I do is I use some black RTV if I'm gonna seal up oil. And I use gray RTV for like water, the antifreeze. But I put a little skin coat around the outside Plop it in there, put that in there, whang it with a hammer, and it's sealed. It's usually one one whack, and it goes right in. These you gotta whack them a couple of times because they're pretty tight. Plus, this one is recommended to go on dry, prison style. This one you can use oil, and uh, that helps. I think it helps to go on a lot easier. But this is a new crank. This is a new uh, three and a quarter stroke crank. So this is the three thirty one, and. Uh, because it's a new crank, I use a new, you know, the better, what I think is better seal. So, all I got left to do is put the, put this plug in here at the back. So you can see the numbers for the, that's the uh, comp cam for the 331. So it's 3192F is the intake lobe, and then 3113 is the exhaust lobe. HR114, I think that's hydraulic roller, uh, 114 lobe separation. And one of the other ones is supposed to tell you that it's on a billet core. I think that might be that C3590, I'm not sure. But that's what that gibberish means. So I just got left to put that in, put the insulator plate on, and then put the flex plate on. No, oh, one thing on the uh, flex plate. The new, the new crankshafts, newer model crankshafts, they're, they're not drilled all the way through. Some are, like the older cranks, and I think the 351s are. So on those, you got to use a sealant on the bolts, along with, you know, you got your ARP, like you use ARP bolts, you put ARP lube in there. I put a lube underneath the, underneath the bolt head itself, just to make sure it doesn't leak. Because some of them, my buddy Tim found out a little back, while back, is they go all the way through so when you fire it up you know it starts leaking out of the uh, one of the bolts there so I always put a little uh, black RTV underneath the bolt head or you can use some of this stuff on the on the threads as well this thread sealant 
It's supposed to work pretty good. I hadn't tried it on these before, but like I say, these are all blind, so they're not all the way through. So it should never be an issue, but just out of habit, I guess I had from when I was working on my old Maverick with a 302 in it, I put RTV on them just to make sure. So that should do it for this thing. I'm uh, getting a little, like I said, getting a little closer to getting this done. I got to still got to finish the intake and get that matched up to the heads and get that on there. And then I can start putting it in hopefully by the weekend. So, all right, appreciate y'all. Later. Hey, I forgot to mention too, like I said, uh, when I put the seal in, I put a skin coat around the outside. So once it goes in, you'll see that you'll get a like a lip of the uh, RTV come out. I kind of jam that in there, wipe it around the outside, and on the bottom of the uh, pan here, you can see I put I use this stuff, the right stuff really good it's kind of spendy but uh i put it in here in that recess where the between the pan and the block where the gasket is the reason i do that is that's where it'll start to seep out a little bit even between the pan and the pump because you got a you know you got a thin tin pan uh what i clean it out with i use I usually use these two things for cleaning you buy a gallon jug of alcohol at uh lowe's for like what 14 15 bucks i think get one of these spray bottles the zep spray bottle there they're like three bucks and that stuff will last you a lot longer than this three dollar can of uh, brake cleaner i still use this but since i started using this you know i don't use as much of that so it's a lot uh, a lot cheaper to use that stuff and it helps clean up this stuff cleans up really good when it's wet with the alcohol so if you use your finger to wipe that out you can uh Spray it right off with the alcohol and it'll come right off. So that was all. Later.